Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, so today I wanted to build off our previous tutorial where we had um, pretty much this uh, simple little waterfall going on. <clears throat> um, if you want to how to do that, just check out the previous tutorial. And what I want to do is kind of make a multi-texture waterfall where you have two textures scrolling um, at different speeds to give it a little bit more depth, make it look a little bit better and so all i did again um we had yesterday's uh this is my darth shader or waterfall don't it was one of these anyways i started a new one just right click create new um shader Pabst blue ribbon and then uh create new material so right click create a new material and then you name it what you want that was already done here. I need my multi-texture material or mat. And then I got multi-texture shader here right here. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So basically we got this. This might have changed a little bit since the, the my Darth shader. But um, what I want again is I want to make this and then I want another level of depth to the waterfall. Let me just change this real quick to quad so we can get a better idea what's going on. And so we got our quad there. That's kind of weird. That's when they're resizing. Anyway, so what we do is we take all this. This is really easy. We want to just copy that. So you got all these options here. Right click, copy, and paste. And now we can move this. So basically, you've already done all that. Work is done. And again, if you want to know how to hook all this up, check out the other tutorial and uh, we'll go from there. So in order for this to work, you can delete that, save. So basically we're doing just a quick little reset. Try to keep this all clean. Um, one thing real quick, I wish I'm, I'm liking the shader graph, but I'm wanting an option to when you slide this around, um, kind of you can maybe snap to a grid. I would love that a little bit. So everything, so you can have this like just be nice and tight and in order like maybe you want to keep it like that and there's just kind of a little grid gone. But anyways, maybe in an update or something. Probably not, they don't care. No, I'm kidding. Um, so then we need a, um, so there's a time and our vector two, which is our property over here. But this is from this, this is that speed. This is vector two, so we need a new one. So delete that and then create a new vector two and call it something like speed two or whatever. And then click and drag that out. So now we can hook that property speed two up to that and multiply and then we're going to go um what's that one at one let's see what's going on here that's 10 it's too fast make like a two there you go so now you got one going a little bit faster than the other this one would probably be on top or anyway you get the point so then move on create a node <clears throat> and i'm using uh this is going to be one of my favorites blend and blend is awesome and I'm going to show you why. So you click and drag into one and click and drag into two. Now we got something cool going on, much better than the little boring static looking waterfall. So now we got two speeds going on and that's on overlay. And you can go through all this and find out what you like. This is almost like Photoshop right here, much like Photoshop, all these um, modes. And to save the time, obviously you'd um, find which one works best for you. That looks pretty. That looks pretty cool for a waterfall multiply overlay. Overlay is pretty good. Um, linear dodge. I'm liking linear dodge. So now you got a cool looking waterfall, and you can change the opacity too, so you can get something more and go crazy like that or I'm kind of wanting some a little bit of glow to it and a little bit softer. And that looks pretty cool. You could probably even speed up maybe 2.2 or something. Yeah, that looks a bit like a more more realistic water. Well, not realistic, but something like you'd see in an actual game as opposed to just the one texture. And these are the same textures. That's just that's what's uh, actually they might be. They're pretty much the same. The result is going to be this is going to be the same, anyways. There's hardly any difference between them. 
So once you get that done, save asset, <clears throat> head over to, uh, oh, wait real quick. head over back to, to the scene, the scene view, and you got your quad fall, which is just a, a quad. And you can, of course, because you have the properties plugged in to the shader, uh, maybe you want to sh slow it down. And I'm just using the uh, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry. And so, anyways, yeah. And you can change all the properties over properties you got plugged in over here. Texture, texture, speed, speed two. You can change it over here if you wanted to. Uh, just grab something random real quick. That one that doesn't look very good, but. No, you get the idea. So there you go. That's how you can use um, multiple textures with the blend node and changing the opacity and the overlay mode to make something a bit um, more fun to look at. And we'll go to, to do it. That looks kind of that looks better. And then of course, just um, kind of building on that a little bit. If you wanted to build a really low poly. Um, Waterfall built on top of that. Um, Control D, Command for a Mac. Now you got two, and hit V, and that'll snap to the corner, and you can just move that down, and it'll snap them together. So now you got something moving, pretty good. Double click, uh, click both of them. Command D again, and duplicate both of them at the same time, and then V again, snap, and now that's pretty cool. That looks more like a game a waterfall than before. Uh, I'll close that. So I'm doing that. Play. Check it out in the game. See what's going on. Move the camera around. Back a little bit. So you guys see it. The game. And anyway, you get the idea. That looks a bit more like something you'd see in an actual game. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps you out. Really quick and easy way to get a uh, a uh, better waterfall or scrolling texture. And of course, you can keep on adding on if you want. It's up to you. Anyways, I hope that helps. Um, if you got a moment and you got some of the video, you enjoyed it or you learned something, uh, can you smash the heck out of the like button? Subscribe if you haven't already for more shader graph tutorials and C sharp tutorials and whatnot. And uh, ring the ding for bonus points. And uh, let's see, guys. Uh, catch you next time. And happy coding. See ya.